If you're in the market for a GPS bike computer, well, you are spoilt for choice. There are loads and loads of good options on the market these days. And there's now a brand new one to add to your shortlist because Wahoo has launched a brand new Roam. If you're familiar with the old Roam, then this one isn't an earth shattering update. The biggest visible change are the new buttons, which are the same as the ones on the Bolt and much more tactile and easy to use when you're riding along at speed. But most of the changes are under the hood. So the biggest hardware change is the use of dual band GPS. Currently, the only other GPS computers that use dual band GPS are Garmin with a range topping 1040 and 1040 solar. And what does dual band GPS mean? Good question, I'm glad you asked. It basically means a quicker, faster satellite connection when in a built up urban area or in dense woodland. So when you have anything that might get in the way of the computer, find that satellite, like a tall building, a mountain or big trees, this dual band GPS should make it quicker and more reliable to use. The screen has been updated, the same size, but now shows a whopping 64 colors up from eight on the old Roam. So the same as the current Bolt. And then we have more storage, up to 32 gigabytes. So more capacity for routes, workouts and rides to be saved on a device. The claimed battery runtime is the same 17 hours as the old Roam, but a shame not to get closer to 20 hours like we have with Garmin and other devices. The one thing I love about Wahoo computers generally is their simplicity. So easy to use and super easy to set up as well. I mean, 30 minutes ago, this in the box, and now I'm out here on the open road pushing it through paces. And half the time was spent trying to figure out what to wear for this really unpredictable time of year. Now the most immediate impression of this Roam is that it's a bigger version of the Element Bolt. I must admit I've not used a Roam in the past much but I have used and do currently use the Element Bolt and this is basically a bigger version. A great similarity so if used to that small device this will feel very familiar. It's a shame the screen doesn't feel the entire case and does look quite small and looks a bit old-fashioned really I'm sure it had the reasons, but in this day and age, a screen that fills the entire case goes edge to edge, I think would be the way forward. What we do have though, are two rows of LEDs like in the old room, on the side and the top, and they are well utilized by default. So that top row for turn by turn directions, and the left row for speed, to see where your average speed is compared to your current speed, uh, power zones, and I have a data like that. But personally, I think I prefer a bigger screen to make use of that bigger case we have over a smaller bolt. The screen is very sharp, good clarity and good contrast, riding in a range of conditions, bright sunlight and overcast gloomy days, and the display is easy to read. And that boost of color really helps a certain data metric really pop off the screen. So at a glance, you can see uh, where you're going too hard and you need to back off. Oh, wait, we're not going hard enough? I need to crank out the power. There's more color on the mapping screen as well, but the mapping screen compared to other computers is not as detailed. Relax, that kind of detail you want, especially when you're riding off-road on your gravel or mountain bike. It does highlight main roads well, but you don't get much more than that really. In my testing so far, the Rome fire satellites really quickly. I live in the countryside, so it's rarely a problem no tall buildings or mountains to uh, get in the way of that satellite reception. When riding off-road in the dense woodland with the old element bolt, I sometimes get a bit of a dropout as it struggles to maintain that contact with a satellite. But so far, this new version, thanks to a dual band GPS, seems to hold on to the satellite much better. One of the obvious benefits of a bigger screen is if you do a lot of mapping, you're following routes on a regular basis, go a bigger screen to more easily see where you're going and a bit of color to help kind of distinguish different roads. So big roads from little roads. There's not much detail when you're riding off-road in the woods though, not much kind of contrast of the woodland or moorland you're riding on or contour details. So it's a bit lacking in that regard. So I'm gonna try the mapping now and set a route for home. There are many ways to get a route into the device itself. Uh, from Strava, from Map My Ride, uh, from the companion app, or from the device itself. So you can scroll around the map and set a waypoint, 
or I have my home address in here. So I can set home and it should pick me a route home, hopefully. So let's see how I get on. Here's an example of how the LEDs are utilized. So I've got a junction here, they're telling me to turn right, if I zoom in. And the LEDs are flashing from left to right, showing me I need to turn right, so that's pretty cool. So you can just look at that at a glance and see which way to go. So out on the road, the Wahoo Roam works really well. And I do love the simplicity and the intuitive nature of the device. There's no touch screen, which is a shame, but probably a good thing when you're riding in adverse conditions, so rain, mud on a screen, no issue with swiping from one side to the other. The actual physical buttons are intuitive. These ones on the bottom feel really good and you can navigate around the device really easily. It just works extremely well and you don't have to read the manual which comes with it because it's that easy and that's a good thing. So a nice bunch of updates to the new Roam, but how does it compare to the Bolt? Well, the Bolt is smaller, as you can see, the Roam is bigger, bigger screen, but they are very similar, very similar design, similar buttons, the layout is the same, all the data on the screens is the same. And when you need a bigger screen, come down to personal preference, how good your eyesight is, and if you do lots of mapping and routing. I think if you're doing lots of navigation, the bigger screen definitely comes into its own. Just easier to see where you're going, a bit more space to move around that map. But mapping still works really well on the smaller Bolt, and I've used it for bikepacking adventures, uh, long all axes, and followed the route just fine with no issues. And personally speaking, I do prefer the smaller compact unit size of the Bolt, and the screen in most situations is easy enough to read. I do appreciate the bigger screen, have more data on there and that data being bigger so you more easily see what's happening at a glance. But I think generally speaking, I do prefer the compact size of the Bolt and of course the money you save over the Roam. Now, how about the Roam versus the Hammerhead Karoo 2? And there's a review of this coming very soon, I promise you. So I've been using this for the last couple of months and I have to say I've been really, really impressed. So where the Roam has a 2.7 inch screen with 64 colors, here we have a 3.2 inch screen with 16.7 million colors. In other words, a full color screen and the experience is quite different. Now the case size, very similar. The Hammerhead is a bit bigger, but we do have a bigger screen within that case. We don't have the LEDs we get on a Roam. But the user experience of the Hammerhead Crew 2. It's like going to a smartphone in terms of experience. Full color display, really sharp, really crisp, and does make the monochrome and a dash of color screen from the Roam feel fairly dated and fairly old fashioned. Again, that's done for simplicity reasons. It definitely conserves the battery life compared to this one. But in terms of outright user experience, you can't deny the benefits of the bigger screen and that full color experience. Now with the Roam, if you download a route, you can get climbing data. So information on the gradient of the climb, how steep it's gonna be, how long it's gonna be on there, but only when you download a route onto the Roam. The beauty or the magic of the Hammerhead is you don't have to download a route. It knows when you're on a climb and gives you the data of that climb. So the gradient, how steep it is, and tells you your time based on your current pace to the top of that climb. And if you like having all the data available to you to help you pace yourself, then that is a fantastic feature and really does change how you climb. Because knowing you've got a really steep bit to come up will help you pace the early stages of that climb. And if you're doing a hilly sporty or Grand Fondo, then that is a very compelling feature. Where Wahoo definitely pulls back some points versus the Hammerhead is in the companion app. The whole app integration with the computer is just seamless and a really good user experience. You can do everything from the app, from customizing the screens on here, 
getting a route from your favorite routing software onto here and getting the data off here to Strava or wherever you want to take it to. So that whole app support works really well. Now, Hamhead don't currently have an app. You do everything through a web browser and it's not quite as seamless or as user-friendly as a whole Wahoo experience. So for me, that's an area where the Hamhead is definitely lagging behind and getting routes onto it isn't quite as easy in my experience as the Wahoo experience. So my experience with the Roam is a little bit mixed, if I'm honest with you. There are updates I really appreciate, but I do prefer the smaller unit size of the Bolt compared to the Roam. And if I want a bigger screen, then the current Hammerhead Crew 2 with full color display and that climbing feature I mentioned earlier, definitely is head and shoulders above the Roam. So for me, the Roam sits in quite an interesting place between smaller, cheaper, easier devices to use like the Bolt and then bigger, more feature rich devices like the Hamhead Crew 2. But I can definitely see this appealing to lots of people who want that slightly bigger screen than the Bolt, a few more features, but don't want too many features to make it too complex to use and want the runtime, a nice, clear, concise screen and an intuitive layout as well and that companion app. Plus, we shouldn't forget the dual band GPS is a big benefit over other devices which don't have it, especially if you live in a city. But for me, I'm going to stick with the Bolt for most of my riding and also the Hammerhead Crew 2 because I love the features and the colour screen on this device. So reviewing this coming very soon. If you want to see my review of the Bolt, that's linked down below. And if you've got any questions about the new Roam, feel free to put them down below in the comment section. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this coming very soon.